There Brian we go. Breaking stuff. Look at that. Clothes done. But look at this magic. This is like multiple use. Bing bing. Bing bing. Done done. Let's go. On to the next. Put it down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you guys so much for joining this channel right here. We got a good video coming up right here on Wyckoff's Adventures. Enjoy this video. What's up guys? What's going on again? Hey, what is up on this lovely afternoon? It's a little bit chilly. It's a little bit chilly. But guys, I came on here um, basically to let you guys know that we stayed in this boondocking spot for about five days. Five days, okay? And we finally got kicked out. We finally got kicked out. I think we stayed um, past our welcoming because the pawn shop allowed us to, hey, go, pa go park in the back. I mean, nobody parks back here. I mean, it's like straight in the middle of nowhere behind everything away from everybody nobody comes back here so, but i mean we stayed here for five days okay five nights really didn't bother nobody so i guess you could say we stayed too long i don't know if it was the landlord the owner well he pulled up i'm sitting over here uh watching some live streams and i got a vehicle pulling up you know hitting the honkers you know beep 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 like my door is open, just come up to my door, you know? So this guy had the audacity to say, hey, you gotta get out of here, you can't be here, instead of, hey, what's wrong? You know, why are you here? You know, is everything okay? You know, I can understand, you know, come, come to us at a different approach, you know? Like, hey, is everything okay? Well, it didn't happen like that. It was like, hey, you, you got, Five minutes to get out of here or I'm towing you. And I'm like, hold up, like, hold up. My wife works on the property and like, we're staying here because she has to work here seven days straight, no days off, and why not, you know? So anyways, long story short, the guy says, are you legal? Is everything on the trailer legal and asking me these crazy weird questions and I'm like yeah it's legal and again like I said we're here because my wife works seven days straight we're not trying to or I don't really want her you know driving for seven days straight you know uh, you know a long way so why not park you know like right around the corner you know what I'm saying but anyways, am I legal? You got to get out of here. I'll give you 15 minutes kind of stuff. And I told him straight up. I said, listen, Nick's will be off in about 15 minutes. And I have to get everything loaded up. And, and I told him, I said, yeah, we'll leave. It's not a problem. It's no big deal. You know, why couldn't you come to us a little bit nicer? Like, I can understand, you know, yeah, we shouldn't be parking in the parking lot. But like, what law are we breaking okay yes it's a private property but it's a business it's parking for the public and I'm way out back you know what I'm saying so like I'm away from customers you know we felt I mean really we can go right down the road park and that's just what we're gonna do we're gonna go park in a uh, Home Depot or maybe go back to another Cracker Barrel or something um, but I just wanted to you know bring this up you know, I want to show you guys how our fit is. Let me go ahead and show you guys. All right, so here's the entrance. You got the pawn shop and the businesses, okay? There's our dumpsters right there, if you can see it. But then right here, right back here, guys, middle of nowhere, all this is private. You can't get back there. And we parked right here, all the way in the back. You know, back here is the pawn shop all the stuff that you really can't mess with there's no houses or anybody back here we thought it was you know collusive or whatnot to stay back in the cut away from everybody 
Well, it worked for five days and uh, we got to go. But it is our first time, guys. Getting first. kicked out of a boondock location. Um, I know, I know, you know, it's going to happen. I know things, you know, you got to go, got to get out. But wouldn't you think that it would be a little bit nicer? Like, hey, is everything okay? Why are you back here? You know, hey, you can't be back here. Can you move? please move? You know, like that. I would have been like, you know, I didn't give no hard time. I said, yeah, you know, my wife works on the property. We just didn't want to drive. We're from St. Pete. We didn't want to drive an hour to work for seven days. You know, we wanted to park on the property. Um, yeah, we should have called you and asked, but we didn't have your number. Oh, well, you, you have 15 minutes to get out of here. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you're not out of here in 15 minutes, we're going to tow your rig and have the cops here. And then he says, are you legal? Is everything on here legal? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not running from nobody. I'm not hiding from anybody. Like, like seriously, really? Like I was about to say I'm here legally, but I was just like, Hey, you know, Nick gets off in 15 minutes. We'll be out of here. We're not trying to cause no problems, but hey, first time getting kicked out of our boondock location. Again, for five days, we were here five days. We stayed at the first boondock for two days. Then we stayed Cracker Barrel for a night. Then we stayed at the Home Depot for a night. And then here for five nights. So that would be five, six, seven, eight nine nights for free well not for free because you got to put gas in the generator and we're averaging about ten dollars a night so hey it worked out so now we're on a mission to go find another location so stay tuned keep on watching i'm going to show you guys uh where we end up and hopefully the guy doesn't come back and start some trouble trouble some trouble or anything um, and if that happens, I'll go ahead and film that. So fingers crossed that that does not happen because we don't want any consultation. We just want to get up out of here and go. You know what I mean? Especially if you try to say, am I legal? Like, what are you talking about? Anyways, keep watching. Keep on going. Let's find our next boondock. All right, guys, we have made it to our other destination, our other boondocking spot here at another parking lot. So, yeah, we are basically just boondocking in every parking lot that we possibly can uh, until we can get kicked out. Well, we really try to stay one or two nights, you know, and move to the next but when nick is working so close and we got a a plus spot well that a plus spot turned into eviction really fast last night but we moved to another location stayed last night nobody messed with us so we're most likely going to stay one more night and then head out to another boondocking location and the next boondocking location is going to be most likely the skyway and i can't wait to do a video out there show you guys uh the skyway atmosphere uh right next to the water opening the door and like we can open our our door and just run right into the water you know what i mean so right now it's a little too cold for that so i would not do that but maybe in the future well not in the future because we won't be here well when we come back next time definitely will do that but guys we have made it to our next destination safely sounds and uh nick's at work i have to turn on the generator put some more water that's what i just showed you put more water in uh the swagon mobile 
and uh, get the charge uh, going because we have been under a tree the whole time. So the charge, the solar, the 200 watt solar uh, that's on top of the rig did not allow the battery to charge. So now that we are, the sun is out somewhat, you know. See, and that's the one thing I got a question, guys. When we have solar and you have a cloud like this blocking the sun, you're not going to get no energy and you're not going to be able to charge what you've got to charge from your solar panel. So us being under a tree did not help. Now that we are wide open, not under a tree, now we have to deal with clouds. So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't when it comes to solar. But then again, some days you got straight shining, shining uh, good old weather. Then some days you got rainy weather. So it's like, you know, you always will have to count on a generator. And that's where I sit when it comes to power. I would like to have a, um, you know, a, a full solar because it's quieter. You know, we don't have to run gas. It's cheaper. But then again, you have to worry about the weather and make sure that you're not under a tree and maybe most probably some other stuff as well. And oh, and have a good battery that actually will hold a charge. Well, because last time that damn battery right there flew right off the blinking trailer and uh, General RV don't even want to replace it because it was their fault. Well, it wasn't their fault that it flew off the trailer. It was their fault that they didn't fasten it when I bought it. And I didn't know that it was fastened. So when I did a turn, it flew right off the blinking trailer. So technically it's both of our faults. So I think it should be like paid 50-50 kind of thing. But anyways, we're going to have to get a new battery. Um, when we get a new battery, it should run solar for about six hours a day on that solar with that battery but every time you start it with a generator you plug it in the shore and you plug it into your truck it charges that battery well it's supposed to well, this battery is not a1 so it's only charging so much so we're on a mission to get a battery so might do a video on that of what batteries are good what batteries aren't and uh yeah anyways but yeah, again, we are out here boondocking again. Hopefully we don't get no eviction. We are in a parking lot that the whole store line, except to Aaron's and uh, QSmart, that's a storage unit over there. And Aaron's is a uh, appliance store where you can rent stuff for high dollar prices. But uh, from there on this way and where we're parked, this is wide open. They don't even cut their grass, guys. They don't even cut the grass. They don't trim the hinges or the hin they don't trim the hinges. They don't trim the hedges. So I feel that we are in a safe location um, for at least a couple nights. But guys, there's places all around that you guys, if you are having a problem boondocking somewhere, just pull in. You know, don't don't put your uh, you know, your slide out, like you're, like you're, you're, you're living full time. You know what I mean? Just pull in, keep your truck hitched, keep your truck hitched to the trailer and, and just stay a couple nights. You, you should be fine, you know? And if not, the worst that will happen is they'll knock on your door or they'll honk their horn and uh, tell you to get the hell out. And if you don't get out, they're going to rest your ass and ask dumb questions like they did last night about am I legal and hazy swazi but I got to get to work I got to go do my chores here um, but I wanted to finish this video up let you guys know we are safe at another boondocking spot and hopefully we don't get a knock on the door but if we do I will bring it to you if we do I will bring it to you but until then see you on the next adventure